Hello dear children welcome to science class we are continuing lesson 12 observing the sky our first topic is stars as we all know that there are a very large number of stars in our sky these are huge spheres of very hot gases having light of their own sun which is the central part of the solar system is also a star and its brightness is less than that of many stars we can say sun is a star of average brightness almost all the stars are millions of times farther away from us as compared to the distance of the sun from us it is for this reason that the sun appears like a ball to us but the other stars appear only as points or dots stars appear as dim points in the night sky this is due to their very large distance from us they do not disappear during day time they are present there in the sky all the time however they are not visible during day time due to sun's brightness children it is interesting to note and realize that our sun shines with a yellowish white light all the other stars are however not yellowish white stars vary in size brightness temperature and color the hottest stars shine with a whitish blue light now let's move to the next topic which is constellation a constellation is a group of stars that appear to form some recognizable pattern or shape in the sky ancient people devised the concept of constellations so that they would be able to recognize and label some of the stars in the sky this was important for them as they were dependent on these stars to find direction and to measure time we can easily recognize some constellation in the sky one of the most important constellations which we can see during summer is ursa major this is also known as the great bear or big dipper it consists of seven prominent stars it appears like a big ladle in which there are three stars in the handle of ladle and four in its bowl this can be easily identified in summer in early part of night the two stars at the top of this constellation are called pointers this is because the line joining those points is in the direction of a special star called the pole star or north star some of the other easily recognizable constellations are orion which is visible in winter ursa minor or small dipper which is visible in spring and cassiopeia which is visible in autumn aries leo cancer libra scorpio are some of the constellations we commonly know now children we will learn about pole star pole star or dhruv tara is a special star present in the northern hemisphere this star unlike other stars appear to remain fixed at one place this is so because it lies along the axis of rotation of the earth because of this special feature the star has been useful to travelers as it defines the north direction now children how can we identify the planets in the sky we can identify a planet in the background of stars by closely observing the night sky some of the features of planets that enable us to distinguish them from stars are a planet is closer to us than stars that is why planets appear like tiny disk whereas stars appear as points stars appear to twinkle 
planets do not twinkle stars do not appear to change their relative position with each other in the night sky they appear to be almost stationary however planets change their relative position with respect to each other they appear to move against the background of stationary stars this was the reason why ancient people named them as planets which means wandering stars dear children we now know that stars do not appear to move with respect to each other in the sky however if one closely observes some bright stars for an hour or so it will be found that there is a slight shift in the position of these stars in the sky stars like the sun appear to move from east to west this as we have now understood is due to the rotation of earth on its axis from west to east dear children this was all for today thanks for watching bye bye